here's what Mike told me, here's what John has told me, here's what many mentors have told me, to be a river, not a reservoir. Meaning as you take it in, and if you don't have anything and you're not being intentional about growing yourself, you have nothing to pour into other people. Are you with me? Say yes. And so Mike instilled that into me, and I'm so proud to call him a business partner, a friend. He's just guided me through this process so much so that I passed him up. I'm, I'm going I'm to be the first to say this. I'm going to pay for making that statement. But Mike, just remember who, who speaks last today. Be, be gentle, my man. Be gentle. But I'm going to say this too. If it wasn't for Mike Sims, if it wasn't for people like Mike Sims, and a person I see right up here, Dell Taylor, if it wasn't for people some of you don't even know, this company wouldn't be alive today. It was the pioneering of people like Mike Sims who didn't have, they only had one product and they didn't have all the tools and the resources, but he had a vision and he stayed and, and he grew himself as he grew in the business. And because of people like him, you all get to celebrate this weekend and have a wonderful event with all the great resources and the tools. Are you all excited? And so here's what I want us to do. I want us to stand to our feet and make the loudest noise for a multi-million dollar earner, Black Diamond, Mr. Mike Sims. Chris Estes. <laughs> oh. No, seriously. I I'm so happy he passed me up, seriously. And, uh, you know, in, thi in this business, you know, some people don't understand the power of network marketing. And, you know, I, I love, you know, one of my greatest achievements in the profession of network marketing is that there are people in my organization that earn as much or just at, or more than I do. And so that's what this industry is all about. So Chris, congratulations on your success. Uh, phenomenal, phenomenal leadership. Uh, awesome, awesome. <clears throat> but I am gonna get him though. Um, what you guys do not know, okay, is Chris skipped this part, is before every big event, this is what he does. And Chris, you tell me if I'm lying or not, okay? <laughs> Chris will send me over through text message what he is going to wear. He says, Mike, does this match? <laughs> Do you approve? <laughs> Do you approve? How does this shirt look with this? So now over the last couple of years, he's figured out which colors or contrast colors, uh, you know, which don't go. I mean, one time he had an orange. Uh, shirt and a red tie, no, it don't work, okay? And, and, and the last thing I'll tell you is this, and correct, Chris, correct me if I'm lying. Um, he hasn't said anything yet, has he? Um, before every session at every convention, I always get a phone call and a knock on my hotel door, and it's Chris. Mike, can you please tie my tie for me? No joke. <laughs> Is that the truth? Uh, let the record stand. Okay, good. <laughs> like I told him, he'll, he, he may out earn me, but he will never, ever, ever outdress me. Never, never. <laughs> never. And includes the rest of y'all, too. Okay, good. All right, awesome. All right, personal development. First of all, uh, it's a privilege and a pleasure to be here. Uh, Zegia International is, is a phenomenal opportunity. And of course, I've been blessed to see this opportunity seven years ago. And when I sat down with corporate, because they flew down to Atlanta, because I was out of network marketing for a while, they flew down to Atlanta and met with me. And we sat down at a kitchen table for about 12 hours. And I saw the heart of this company and what this company was all about and what this company, uh, the vision of this company, the mission of this company, and I got excited about it. I knew it without a doubt that we would be successful. 
no doubt about it. Even though we didn't have uh, a plethora of products, even though we didn't have uh, robust marketing, even though we, it's a lot of things we didn't have, I knew this company would be successful. The only other person that ever told me that they knew that they were going to be successful in their occupation was a gentleman I met one time. He's a veterinarian and a taxidermist, okay? <laughs> Some of y'all will get that when you get home, okay? <laughs> no matter what, he was going to be successful, right? <laughs> but anyway, I, I knew we were going to be successful in this company. And of course, uh, I've been involved in network marketing uh, now for 14 years, and Zegia International uh, is the best opportunity I've been a part of. This is my second company, and I'm just excited about being here. And, and guess what? The best is yet to come. We haven't done nothing yet, okay? We haven't done anything yet, and to, it, it all starts today. It all starts today. But one thing I figured out over the years is one of the main things that hold people back from having massive success is the lack of one thing, and that's personal development. People fail to work on themselves, okay? So he here's what I do. Uh, years ago, I formulated this thing uh, like a, a four-step way to solve a problem, okay? Uh, and, and here's what you want to do. First thing, okay, when you have any type of issue, okay, is the first thing you want to do is you want to trace it, okay? You want to trace it. You want to trace it back to the source of what may be causing the problem, what may be holding you back from being super successful. Why can't you get individuals to join your business? You want to trace it back to the root, okay? You want to trace it. Once you've identified the issue, now you want to face it, okay? You want to face it. What most people do is when they've identified an issue, they decide that they're just going to, you know, blind or, or put their hand over their face and act like they don't see it. It could be in a relationship. It could be something that's not going right. You trace the issue, but then you don't want to face the issue, okay? It could be something in school. You figured out why you're not getting good grades. You traced it, but then you don't want to face it, okay? It could be your business here in network marketing, here at Zija. You, you may have traced the issue or figured out what, what the problem is, but then you don't want to face the issue. So you got to face it. That's, the most, that's one of the most crucial things to do when solving any problem. Once you face the issue, the thing you must do is you have to erase it. You must erase it, okay? You can't just start, once you identify an issue, you can't ignore it. You can't ignore it. You can't act like it doesn't exist. You can't just let it continue to linger on and just hope it gets better. You got to erase it. Erase the bad habits out of your business. Erase the lack of doing something out of your business and start doing it. You got to erase the issue and make sure that you start making changes ASAP, okay? So after you've erased it, now you have to do the last and final thing, and that's replace it. Replace it, okay? Now, in a relationship, could be somebody need to be replaced, okay? <laughs> in distributors in your business, some of them need to be replaced. But majority of the time in, the, in, the, in this business, it's not the distributors that need to be replaced. It's definitely not the company that needs to be replaced. It's bad habits that we have developed that need to be replaced with the proper habits. And here's what I found out. The cure for majority of things that we face in network marketing that are not going right is personal development. Personal development is the key. It's the key to unlock the vault of the, to any area of life. You have to work on yourself. Write this down. My mentor told me when I first got involved in this industry, he said, Mike, you're 22 years old. You have to work harder on yourself than you do on the business. Getting started. I had never read a whole book, actually two books in, college, in high school, okay? Uh, a Tale of Two Cities and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. That was it. <laughs> When I got to college, they wanted me to read Shakespeare and all these other books. I had no, I just couldn't understand how Shakespeare was going to help me earn money. I didn't understand how Shakespeare was going to help me in the business field and finance was my major. I didn't understand how that applied to me at all, so I didn't read those books. But when I got involved in network marketing, my mentor asked me, what was I reading? The first time someone had ever asked me that question. Of course, I had been assigned things to read and I didn't do it, but no one had ever asked me what I was reading. And I'm, I'm going to challenge everybody in here. If someone asks you today or right now what you are reading, would you have an answer? Okay? Here's what I know. Chris Essence is reading something. Because guess what? We swap books. When he comes to my house or I go to his house, guess what our gifts are to each other? Books. Okay? I mean, what can, what can you buy people that can buy whatever they want to? 
Buy them, the, buy them the key to more knowledge so they can get more stuff. Okay? So here's the thing. That's, that's, I know the other leadership. Tommy Sackers read. D. Hutchins. Well, I met D. Hutchins. He, told, he was telling me yesterday, Mike, Mike, you changed my life with a question. I was 30-some-odd years old. No one had ever asked me what I was reading. Greg Bibb, same thing. Asked Greg Bibb what he was reading one day. He started sweating bullets. Okay? <laughs> had never read a book. Worst thing about it, he's an educator. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm just <laughs> Anyway, you must work harder on yourself than you do on the business. And here's what I'll tell all the leaders in here. For those of us who have achieved a measure of success, even though you're achieving success right now, you have to work. As you build your business, it then shifts to you have to continue to work just as hard on yourself as you do on the business. In the beginning, you got to work harder on you because you are the problem. Okay? I had to realize when I got involved in network marketing, the reason I was broke, okay, or financially challenged, or some of my business partners say I had funds low disease, okay? Uh, the reason why I had that disease, okay, Tony Fleming called it two brokerlosis, okay? <laughs> but anyway, the reason why I had that disease, my income was not where it needed to be, it was because I was not where I needed to be. Plain and simple, I had to work on myself. My mentor told me this, Mike, you don't deserve to have a television until you're over 20,000 a month in income. Wow. Yeah. Now, let me, let me I, I, forgot to, I forgot to tell you or give you a disclaimer up front. Um, I don't, you know, you know, I joke about stuff and, and we entertain, but when it comes down to training, in that, and see, there's only a right way to do this and a wrong way. <laughs> there's no kind of doing it right, okay? It's like somebody said, I'm kind of pregnant. It's impossible. You either are or you're not, right? <laughs> Period. Okay, in this business, you're either doing what it takes to be successful or you're not, right? So uh, when we talk about building a business, it's one way to do it. it was, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a several ways to do it, or several activities that you must do to get the desired result. So when they said personal development is something that you need to do, and I didn't deserve to have a television until I was over 20 grand a month, I took it literally. Actually, my first rebuttal was this. He, I said, I need to watch the news and see what's happening. He said, why do you need to watch people on TV and all their problems and you got problems on your own? <laughs> okay? I never looked at it like that. I used to watch every sports game that came on television. I'm watching people on TV live out their dreams and mine is going down the tubes, literally. Okay? So think about that. I disconnected the cable in my home for the first year involved in network marketing, and at the end of that first year, I had my first $20,000 a month. The second year was over six figures in income. Okay? So it worked. Now I can go and sit courtside at the game. Does that make sense? Okay? Does that make sense? Now, you know, I, you know, I associate or, or can go to the same places that movie stars go to because I made the sacrifice up front to just stop filling my mind up with things that were not helping me become successful, not taking me where I wanted to go in my business. So here's what I can tell you. The choice is yours. I'm not going to tell you to go home and disconnect your cable. I'm just going to tell you what happened for me. And if you're in the same situation I was in, then I might, you might want to consider it, okay? You might want to consider it. And of course, you know, there are circumstances you might want to have it in your home for children and things of that nature, but understand that how you spend your time or what you listen to is part of your personal development or lack thereof. Does that make sense to everybody? So make sure. It's, it's helping you develop a philosophy. There are popular shows on TV right now that, that, are, that, that condone things that are just not right, and they're the most popular shows on television. And that's how you know, the devil slowly creeping that stuff in your mind as if it's okay, okay? Slowly doing it, and now what happens? You off track in every area of your life, okay? And you definitely won't make money in the business, all right? So make sure that you're doing personal development. Now, uh, a couple of things. What is personal development, in my opinion? It's simply this. Working on every aspect of your life. D. Hutchins, I mentioned a minute ago, he starts off his day uh, reading some scriptures from the Bible and things of that nature to make sure he stays grounded spiritually. I do the same thing. Then, of course, good books. You need to work on every aspect of your life. Here's what I encourage everybody to do, too. When it comes to personal development, work on your body. Okay? Work on your body. Because if you feel good, you do good. Work on, and, of course, I know everybody here is on a journey. 
Okay? You may look at someone right now and say they can't be working on nothing. Okay? That's not true. <laughs> you don't know where that person started from. You don't know where that person started, right? But here's what I'll tell you. When it comes to personal development, you know, I watch what Chris Estes does. I watch what D. Hutchins does, other leaders, and, uh, you know, folks down there doing Zumba and things of that nature in the morning now. We're working on ourselves. That's part of personal development. Remember, in this business, you can't sell a dream if you look like a nightmare. Okay? You can't do it. Okay? You can't do it. <laughs> That's part of personal development. So make sure that you're working on yourself. We're in a health and wellness company. We got to look the part. That's part of personal development. Would you all agree with that? Okay, good. And if I stepped on your toes, I did on purpose. Right? Because this, this is serious business. This is serious business. Watch what happens to your business when you start to feel better. When you feel better, you do better. I get, I mean, you know, we saw Kevin Mullins up here. Gentleman looks like he, he stays in the gym. Okay? He, he's in shape. He's got himself you know, looking right so he can feel right so he can go out and do right. Okay? Everybody got that. Of course, personal development as well. Uh, this is part of our personal growth and development by continuing to work on ourselves and program our mind. What are some of the things personal development will help you be able to do? Number one, okay, someone asked me a question the other day, uh, was, uh, we were in a conversation, uh, that they're having an issue with, uh, you know, one thing is fear of talking to prospects. Here's what I'll tell you. Everybody, if anybody says they're not afraid to approach some people about the business, they're probably not, they're probably not telling you the truth. All of us have what we call a chicken list, okay? But see, here's the deal. What motivated me in the beginning to go out and talk to those people anyway, even though I had some fear? What's my bills? I took a look at my bills, and I said, these bills, okay? I'm more afraid of these and not being able to pay these when I need the, this, the stuff they provide than I am going to pick up the phone and make a phone call. Because the worst this person can say is no. The worst they could do is turn my lights off, okay? So, so understand, let, do the thing that you fear, and the death of fear is certain. You, you watch Greg Bibb and how he floats up on stage now and delivers a powerful message. You should have saw him when he first got started. Okay? He, he just wasn't, uh, you know, he wasn't ready yet. He was, he was working on himself. But he did it, and he did it, and he did it, and now he, he looks like he's been doing this for 15, 20 years. Okay? Everybody is afraid of something. The key is doing it anyway. Doing it anyway. Courage is going forward and doing it anyway. So make sure, okay, that you do the personal development because it will allow you to get better. It will allow you to overcome the fears and the things that's holding you back from being successful in this business. You have to overcome fear. You have to. Do, face your fear and the depth of fear is certain. Now, of course, another thing that people sometimes have issue with, and it traces all the way back to personal development, is how, uh, you, know, uh, you know, talking to a prospect or getting that prospect to believe in you as you are the person that can take them where they want to go. Why is that important? Because remember, people join people. They don't join companies. They join people. So when people are saying, hey, I'm not sure, after they've looked at all the facts, now, this is after you've done a proper exposure. You've done a three-way call. You put them in front of, uh, you put them on a phone call with someone who's being successful. They can answer their questions. You've done all these different things. Sometimes, because of lack of personal development, people won't get involved in the company because they're not that confident in you yet and your ability to lead them. So personal development will help you get your posture up. Who in here has ever been asked how much money are you earning in the business? Anybody been asked that? Guess what? I have never been asked that question. As long as I've been involved in network marketing, I've never been asked that question. And the reason why is when I got started in network marketing, people didn't know that I was broke, okay? Uh, people didn't know that, you know, the gas I spent coming to their house was the last little bit I had, so they must have signed up, okay? <laughs> people didn't know that I was doing what I call juggling bills, okay? Figuring out which one I was going to pay. They didn't know because I started doing personal development and my posture and vision was this, I was going somewhere. They wanted to go wherever the heck I was going, okay? That's because of personal development. It helped me develop posture. That's what you must do as well if you're going to be successful in the business is developing the posture that you cannot be stopped. When people realize that you're not going to quit, watch how fast they join you. 
When people see you get stronger as a leader, watch how they start to run to your business now. Because, matter of fact, it, it, a quote pops in my head. John Maxwell said this, the leader creates the vision, and then he finds the people. The people find the leader, and they buy into whatever his or her vision is. That quote changed my life. Second month in network marketing. The people find the leader. Excuse me. The, the leader creates the vision, and then he finds the people. The people find the leader, and then they buy into whatever his or her vision is. If you want to sponsor and enroll more people, make sure that you're working on yourself so you develop the posture, the strength, the mental fortitude that you need so you can be attractive to people, that you can, you can you know, uh, articulate a specific vision to them that they can buy into, a mission that they can buy into. Okay? Another thing as well, when it comes down to uh, personal development, it helps you become an inspiration to people. And of course, that word spire means breath. Okay? So the question is, because of your personal development or lack thereof, are you inspiring people, breathing life into them, or are you expiring them, taking the life out of them? They run when they see you coming. Okay? Personal development helps you improve in those areas. If you're a leader now, or scum, well, I, I, actually, I wouldn't call you a leader if you're not doing personal development. If you're someone who's just, you know, climb the comp plan because you've got some good leaders in your organization, or are you someone who's looked at as a mentor or a tour mentor, okay, <laughs> because of your lack of personal development? There's a big, big difference. Some, some people think, hey, a title, it makes me a leader. No, it doesn't. A leader is simply if people follow you or not. If people are following you or not, people, no one's following you. If no one is inspired by you, if no one is watching you grow and doing and trying to emulate you and what you're doing, you're just practicing right now. You're still in leadership development. You're not yet a leader, and personal development will help you in that area to grow as a person. Remember, and this is so, so important. This is one thing I watch Chris Essence doing, Tony Fleming do, uh, and, and many other leaders in the organization uh, do. David Mo, everybody's doing this now, is they're, is they're making sure people are locked in to a personal development program. Because remember this, remember this statement. We, we, people build this business. So what do we have to do? We have to build people. We have to build people. We have to build people. How do we build people? Personal development. Another thing personal development does is if you're doing personal development, different things that's, that look like mountains to some people start to look like little anthills to you. Because there are some people who will take any small issue and I tell you, it's like Jim Rohn said, you can shoot a cannon at a rabbit. It's effective, but once you do, you have no more rabbit. Okay? <laughs> mean this, you might have a rabbit of a problem, but you shoot your cannon of negativity, of, of, of lack of vision, of, of you know, small-mindedness, all these things at it, and you blow the whole situation up into something else, and, and the worst thing, you could blow up on somebody, and now you don't even have a distributor left. Because you've blown up on that person, you've thrown up on that person, and now it, it, you're so negative, now you kill your entire organization. People don't want to work with anybody that's negative. People want to be inspired. People want to go somewhere. They want to follow someone that's going somewhere that's positive. So no matter what the situation is, if something is happening bad in your life or in your business, personal development will start to help you look at these things as just anthills. Someone with a terminal illness has got some issues. Okay? There's nothing I can think of that comes up in this business that's worth panicking about. Because we got life, we got breath, we got opportunity to go fix it the next day. Fix it the next day. So always understand that personal development is the key to making sure that you become a great problem solver in this business and not someone uh, who, who, uh, who's uh, part of what I call a pity party division, okay? Or, or, or Chris calls it a thumb sucking division. It's, 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 it's people that are just so negative. Nothing they do is, or nothing that happens is ever quite good enough. And there are people like that, right? You know them, right? 
Here's what I'll tell you. Get away from them. You won't change them. You won't change them. They, they will only change when they change themselves. You won't change them. So make sure that you don't fall into that trap as well. A couple of things. I'm going to bring up a gentleman here uh, who, who's developed over the years into a phenomenal leader. Um, you know, personal development will also help us do what we call create a movement, okay? Uh, your goal as a leader is not to get fit for the people to follow you, just to form a crowd. Your goal is to develop enough leaders so we create a movement. We create a movement. We have an opportunity in our hands today with Zegion International to create a movement that cannot be stopped. Does everybody understand that? The condition of this world today is so sad when it comes to health and wellness. Sad, S-A-D, right? Because people are on their standard American what? Diet, okay? Standard American diet, which leads to the standard American diseases. Sad. And then they go see the standard American doctor, okay? And then the doctor gives them the standard American drugs, right? And then people die the standard American death, okay? The condition is sad. This is serious to me. This is a movement. We have an opportunity to change people's lives with what we offer here from a health and wellness standpoint and from an opportunity standpoint. If you look on the news right now, everything's falling apart. Everything's falling apart. Government, they don't know what they're doing, okay? Uh, and it's not either one of them side, because some people say, well, it's this side or that side. All of them is, is, is screwed up, okay? Every last one of them, right? Um, you, got, you got people want, blaming the weather. You got people, people blaming their neighbors. You got people blaming lack of opportunity. You got people say, hey, I didn't grow up like you grew up, so I can't do this and that. All this stuff people are blaming, and they're blaming their platform, the thing that they have to jump from. And once somebody pulls your platform away from you and you have nothing to jump from, you can't jump. You can't jump. So quit blaming everyone else for your lack of success and go to work on yourself and watch what happens. Once you start to work on yourself, you will become an inspiration to the masses of people. Once you become an inspiration to the masses of people, the masses of people, uh, you both together will create a movement of people. And a movement of people cannot be stopped. Cannot be stopped. So who's with me on creating a movement? Awesome. Good. Awesome. We got to. Who's with me in taking Zedra to a billion dollar company? Good. Good. Who's with me to go in diamond over the next 12 months? Good. Good. Guess what? The choice is yours. The choice is yours. And none of this will happen without a steady diet of personal development. None of it will. It won't happen for you. Can I make it any more simple than that? You will not have success in this business if you don't work on yourself. There's no other way to sugarcoat it. It will not happen for you until you get better. All of us are continuing to get better. As leadership, we get to continue to get better. We don't coast. The only way to coast is downhill. You've never seen anything coast uphill, okay? We're not coasting either. I'm ready to take it to another level myself. I'm ready to go right now. I had enough of Utah already. I'm ready to go home and get to work, okay? But we're going to have a phenomenal weekend, and we're going to continue to grow uh, and grow people and grow a movement as we leave out of here.